Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be creating piece pop art inspired by the artist Andy Warhol. For today's project, you will need two pieces of paper. One will be used as your scrap paper, a pencil, eraser, a black marker or black Sharpie marker, and whatever other coloring supplies you have at home. We're going to start by folding our paper, holding it vertically up and down, fold the bottom of the paper to the top of the paper. Make sure to press hard along the crease. Next, fold the right side of the paper over to the left side, or you could turn the paper again and fold the bottom to the top, whatever is easiest for you. Now, open your paper all the way back up. You have a vertical crease down and a vertical crease across horizontally and four sections on your paper. We have four sections because we are going to repeat our design four times. Let's start by making a large circle in each section. It's okay if these circles aren't perfect, we're going to turn them into peace signs. We're now going to turn these circles into peace signs. To do this, I'm going to draw a vertical line down the center of the circle, and then towards the bottom of that vertical line, I'm going to draw two diagonal lines out towards the sides of the circle. And I'm going to repeat that on each circle. Next, we're going to write out the word piece diagonally down each section of our paper from the top left to the bottom right. I like to first pretend like I'm writing out my word to get the spacing right. I imagine I'm writing my word on my paper without actually doing it, and then I'm able to get my spacing down perfectly. When I'm confident, I write out my word. I'm using all uppercase letters to do this. Then I'm going to repeat this on each other section. Next, I'm going to turn the letters of my word piece and the piece sign into block letters of the word piece and a bubble piece sign. Put your scrap paper underneath your project. This way when you're tracing, you don't get marker on your table. To do this, I'm going to trace around each letter using straight sides, edges, and corners. Unless it's the top of the P or the C, in that case, you would have curved lines on certain parts. Now that we've turned all our letters into block letters, it's time to trace around the piece sign. I'm going to start with the outside edge of the piece sign, and I'm going to make sure that I do not run into my letters. The way I'm doing this is going to make the piece sign look like it's behind the letters, creating a sense of space by overlapping. When you're done tracing the outside area of the piece sign, Go ahead and use straight and curved lines to trace the inside areas of the peace sign. This is the same exact way we trace and make our block letters.
when you're done tracing all your piece signs, go ahead and trace over that vertical crease going down your paper and the horizontal crease going across your paper. Now it's time to erase any pencil marks that you see. Make sure you do this carefully and slowly because you have many pencil marks from your original piece letters and piece signs. Now it's time to start adding color. You could use whatever coloring supplies you have at home. Today I'm going to use some markers. Choose four colors and color in your first section. The peace sign will be one color. The word peace will be another color. The inside areas of the peace sign will be a third color. And the background area of that section will be the fourth color. When you go to color in the other sections, you're going to switch the colors in each area. For example, the inside area of the peace sign in each of my sections will be a different one of my colors. My first section, it's purple. The second, it will be green. The third might be orange. And the fourth may be pink. But each area on each section will be one of those colors. And I'm gonna repeat this for each different area in my section. So the piece sign, the inside of my piece sign, the word piece, and the background. It's best to color each area a different color in each section and then move on to the next area. This way you don't get confused. Here's what mine looks like when it's all done. Take your time, go slowly, and don't worry if you make a mistake. I hope you enjoyed creating this work of art today. Don't forget to have fun, be creative, and don't worry if you make a mistake. See you next time.